Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. It is such a blessing to have you guys here with me today. Um, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Um, if you would like to view all, this, all other sign placements, you can go to my main channel, um, Tarot of Light. I also have a Cancer-only channel and a Virgo-only channel. All those links are below, along with my TikTok, recommended reading readers and decks used. So guys, um, I'm going to be starting a monthly giveaway on this channel. So in the description box below, you'll find a list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section. And the winners will be announced on the first of the month. Um, the winners will be announced on the first of the month on the community page. Okay. Oh, 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 the three of cups just popped out. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we have here for Leo, please, Spirit. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Oh, and guys, I forgot to enter the giveaway. You have to like, share, comment, subscribe. I don't know if you um if you caught that. Okay, tell me about Leo in love, please. Tell me about Leo. Oh, these cards are flying everywhere. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy, the Knight of Wands, more fire. We have the Two of Swords. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. <coughs> and we've got... The Page of Wands. A lot of fire energy on the side, guys. King of Swords and the World card. Okay. Nine of Wands and the Strength card. I feel like I should take that. With the King of Wands. Okay. So, Leo. I hate to say this, but... With the Two of Swords here, um, we've got two queens, Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like, Leo, I, I don't know if you're on this side. I don't know if you're, you know, on on the other side. I have no idea here. I, I love this deck, but I hate the fact that it doesn't lay fl flat. Anyways, moving on. I feel like someone has to make a decision between two people. I feel like one connection has gone cold and the other one is on fire. OK, um, you know, with that Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands, someone here is definitely pursuing this Queen of Wands. So you may be the Queen of Wands, you may be the Queen of Swords, or you may be the one that has to choose. Um, with the Two of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, someone here is really thinking about where they want to invest their time and energy. Or it could also be that someone is feeling a little nostalgic because they are, they're planning on cutting off someone that they have a history with. You know, sometimes, you know, when they say at the end is when you think of the beginning, right? You know, um, Queen of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Wands, someone here is getting a message that's going to hurt. Okay. Queen of Swords in the reverse is someone feeling bitter, scorned, upset, angry, you know, just spiteful, vengeful type of energy. This person may say really mean things when they get this message, but with the King of Swords and the World card, someone here is cutting something off and ending it. And when I say that, I mean it. Nine of Wands and the Strength card. This person is serious, okay? King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. So here's what's interesting, though. We've got the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords and the World card. So this may have been a karmic situation. And then we've got the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. So we've got two soul tie energies here, but one of them I believe to be karmic, okay? Tell me about the Queen of Wands here, please. Tell me about the Queen of Wands here. Guys, we may get interrupted in just a second because in my building, I have to answer the phone to let someone in, so my phone may ring. Tell me about the Queen of Wands here, please. We've got the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and we have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. It, it's not like this person has taken, you know, it's not like this person is making a quick or impulsive decision. They've really thought about it with that Hermit Energy 
energy. And with the nine of swords under the deck, it wasn't an easy decision for this person. But, you know, the person on this side is saying, you know, I want what I want. You know, I want what I want. And this is the person that I'm passionate about. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra again. So, and look, the Knight of Cups here. I, I feel like just someone here feels really pulled towards this Queen of Wands energy. The Knight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Sun. Um, I feel like someone's very drawn to this Queen of Wands. There's passion, there's love, there's excitement. Um, and I feel like someone really wants to work on that connection and put their time and energy into it and see where it goes tell me about this two of swords and we've got the world card again guys yes yeah, someone here may be cutting off a karmic connection someone here may be coming up cutting off a karmic connection tell me about the seven of pentacles and the page of cups in the reverse leo sagaries i feel like i'm sorry guys one second so sorry guys i really am so sorry okay so again the person on this side um, is coming to the realization that they made a lot of promises in the past. So this person knows that they're about to break some serious promises here, okay? They know they're about to break some serious promises. Tell me about this Queen of Swords in the reverse. We've got the death card in the reverse, scorpionic energy. I mean, this person, you know, this Queen of Wands in the reverse, obvious, excuse me, Queen of Swords in the reverse, obviously has a reason to be upset. This Queen of Swords in the reverse obviously never thought that this would end. It never thought that it would be over because this person did make a lot of promises, okay? So this, you know, someone here really has a reason to be upset. Tell me about the Page of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Um... Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Swords and the Justice card. So Libra Energy, I, I feel, I feel that this Queen of Swords in the reverse was manifesting the truth to come out. Someone here may have even done a truth spell, okay? Someone here was really manifesting for a truth to come out and it's here. And I don't feel like it's going to be the truth that they were expecting because there's going to be a whole conversation here on why someone is abandoning ship, okay? And I feel like th this person's going to be honest. They're going to say with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups, listen, I can't do this anymore. It's not me. It's you. I am in love with someone else with that Ace of Cups energy. With the Ace of Swords and the Justice card, I feel like someone here is going to do the right thing and be honest on what's happening and what's going on, okay? Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. We have the two of cups in the reverse and we have the ace of wands. The hierophant, Taurus energy and the ten of swords. The seven of swords and the five of swords. Oh my gosh. Leo, the person on this side is like, did you ever love me? You know, so you, what, you start talking to someone new and you just end our connection, the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. This could literally be a, a divorce taking place. This could be a divorce that's taking place. Okay, so this is someone that, you know, is coming to realize that there's no love here. There's no love here with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. Someone cheated and they're just straight up walking away. Okay, they, they cheated and they're walking away. They cheated and they're just walking away. Tell me about the Ace of Wands and the Moon. Cancer, Piscean energy. This person is about to find out with the Moon card and the High Priestess here and the Ace of Wands. They're about to find out that, you know, someone here was sleeping with someone else or talking to someone else. Tell me about the Two of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, what's worse is this person doesn't want to work it out. You know, I feel like the person on this side is saying, listen, you know, can we try to work things out? Can we go to a counselor or something? Two of cups in the reverse. This person does not want to work it out. They don't want, they don't want to work it out. Mm -mm. Tell me about the Hierophant here. We've got the strength card. Tell me about the 10 of swords here and the Knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel... Like the person on this side is trying to stay strong in hopes that someone may come to their senses and come forward and apologize. 
I feel like someone here is really putting their trust in the divine. They're, you know, really hoping and praying that this person comes forward and apologizes for what's happening here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel like this person is so overwhelmed when they find out the level of lies. The pain is just overwhelming, but still this person feels like, okay, you're making a rash decision. You know, with the Knight of Pentacles, you'll be back. You'll come back to apologize. This person isn't really accepting that it's over. It's hard for this person to accept that there was lies and cheating. It is hard for this person, but this is someone that would forgive Leo. This is someone that would forgive and they're not really accepting that it's over. What's the challenge here? The three of wands and the ace of cups. What's the challenge here? The sun card. What's the challenge here? And temperance. I feel like the challenge is the same for both people because with that three of wands, the ace of cups and the sun card with temperance, we have this person that is yearning for the new love because they see happiness and peace with the new love. And we've got this person that's waiting for a reconciliation and to be happy and to forgive. Okay. So the challenge is really the same for both people, but in different ways. Okay. But in different ways. So um, I'm going to take it into the extended and we're going to find out what this person's thinking that has to make the choice. We're going to find out about the person that's being left behind. Okay, so we're going to do an oracle and tarot reading on the person being left behind. We're going to do an oracle and tarot reading on the new love that is taking place. And we're going to do a tarot and oracle reading on the person that's making this decision. Okay, so we've got three readings in the extended. Um, the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I will see you guys there. I love you so very much and I'll see you soon.